Hello, Leos. How are you doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. I hope all is well with you guys. I love you so much. It's good to see you guys again. If it's your first time here, welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. And it's so good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Personal readings are 30% off, guys. 30% off until October 1st. So if you would like a personal reading, you can email the email that you see at the bottom of the screen, Miss Hawaii Reading at gmail.com. That is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Personal readings do take one to two weeks to get you the reading back. If you need to expedite it, you can pay an expedited fee and I'll get you the reading within 24 hours. So that is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from all of you. If you have time, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Hawaii Tarot. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. There's also a link for the Facebook page. If you would be so kind to go ahead and like that Facebook page to show support to your girl from Miss Hawaii Tarot, I would be so thankful, thankful, thankful. Thank you guys. If you're not a member yet, click that join button. All my members get access to private readings only for them on YouTube. So if my readings resonate with you, you've been watching me for a while, you should be a member. Come join us and join the members club. All right. Don't forget. Um, what else was I going to say? forgot that quick i was gonna say something oh thank you for all your donations thank you for all your super chats your cash apps your paypal donations and your zelle payments you guys are awesome for that donation info is in the description box below i appreciate you and i'm so thankful for you guys you guys are the reason why i do this if this reading resonates there will be a link in the description box for you that will take you over to the extended reading in the extended i will pull your person's card see how they feel about you See what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you and we'll also get advice for you from the universe so the extended reading link is below i hope to see you guys there if not i'm happy that you're here um don't forget to like comment and subscribe please like comment and subscribe that is a way of showing your support don't forget to share as well and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is miss hawaii scorpios if you have time all right so let's see what's going on with my leos in love i i Let's see what's going on, my Leos in love. Show me Leo, please, Spirit. Thank you for a clear and guided reading for all my Leos. What's going on with Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh, the moon. Okay. Okay. Trying to figure your way out here. Trying to figure things out. Um, using your intuition. Some of you guys have been having dreams here. The chariot popped out. So perhaps some of you are dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. All right. Chariot. So some of y'all may be moving or you may be getting a new car or you may be relocating or doing some traveling or something. The tower in reverse. Wow. So y'all got three major arcana cards to start your reading. So that's pretty deep right there. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. Huh. That can either mean A, resistance to change, or B, averting a disaster, okay? You got the Knight of Cups here, so I'm getting water energy, okay? Somebody making a love offer towards you, or maybe they have already, or they will. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got the Two of Swords right smack dab in the middle of your reading, which indicates a decision, okay? The Six of Wands in reverse, okay? Hmm. The queen of pentacles so your money look good excuse me bitch your money look good your career look good some of y'all starting your business or you have a business and it's going well or you just about your goddamn coins five of wands i'm seeing a lot of drama some conflict here one more card here for for leo some of y'all dealing with an aries because i don't know why the hell i was about to say that and then we got the four of cups so something here got you discontent bottom of the deck we got the wheel of fortune my favorite card Woo! which indicates change baby change 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 all right let's clarify some of these bad boys all right not too bad not too bad i do see something here um i just don't like that you have the four cups because the four cups is about you know, being unhappy, not liking what the universe is offering you. The universe is giving you a cup, but you either don't want it or you're not happy with it or something like that. I do see somebody interested in you making an offer. Show me the moon. The ten of wands in reverse. The moon in reverse again. 
in the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Two of Pentacles. Okay. There's something here that you're releasing. It may have confused you for a while. Five of Cups, yeah. That's about disappointment, loss. Okay, I'm seeing somebody here, possibly another fire sign you're dealing with, or that Knight of Wands in reverse could be you. But there's something you're not giving your energy to anymore. Could it confuse you for a while, but you're not confused anymore. You're not giving any more energy to this. The Hermit. Okay, after some soul searching, after some praying, talking to your ancestors, talking to your angels, you realize here that you were the only one carrying the, the load here. And I see you releasing that load. Show me the chariot. That's a movement. The world in reverse. Okay. The nine of pentacles in reverse. And the king of pentacles. Some of you guys dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the hermit again. Virgo energy. Okay. Um, there's a cycle here that hasn't been necessarily closed out just yet with the world in reverse. There's some... There's something here that's incomplete. Okay. Show me the king of pentacles. And I really feel like you're trying to find your direction here. The two of wands in reverse with the chariot. Again. Some of y'all dealing with a cancer. Heavy cancer energy here. Hmm. Show me the world in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse with the two of pentacles. I really see you trying to weigh out your options here about somebody here. Trying to figure out what you want to do. Do you keep fucking with this person? Is this person going to give you your long term? Because I feel like there's there's not that much stability here. And I feel like you want stability. So you're trying to figure shit out. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Show me the tower in reverse. Show me the tower in reverse. The Four of Pentacles. The Emperor. Oh, some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Maybe that's why I said Aries earlier. And then we got the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's somebody here you can't walk away from. It's hard for you to let go of. Hard for you to, um, to move on from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, this is an Emperor. Could be somebody in a position of power. Somebody here who is a father for some of you guys or a mother. Show me the emperor. Queen of Pentacles. It's somebody you care about a lot. Show me the eight of cups in reverse. The ten of pentacles in reverse. But there's no stability here. You're really trying to weigh out the options here. Show me the four of pentacles. The Knight of Swords again in reverse. This is the person you're holding on to. So it could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how this person's energy is towards you, though. I feel like this person might be kind of in and out. Show me the Knight of Cups. But you really care about this person a lot with the Queen of Coins. Some of you are very protective of this person or A nurturing energy but I don't feel like this person is stable some of y'all this person and it's like you can't make up your mind here about what to do hmm getting heavy water energy here three of cups somebody trying to have somebody trying to spend some time with you here I don't know who this is this could be a different person some of you may be a new person Some of y'all may have somebody new here trying to, you know, get close to you. But either y'all don't see this person as being stable enough to fuck with you. Could be somebody here. If you haven't met this person yet, it could be somebody coming in here. Some of y'all is somebody making you an offer to reconcile. Let's see the two of swords. What is this decision here you're trying to make? Page of Wands. About this person again. Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Swords in reverse with the world in reverse. About closing out a cycle or not. I keep seeing that. Do you want to close out a cycle with this other person or not? Do you want to close it out or not? Do you want to close it out or not? 
I'm seeing there's passion there. There is passion, okay? Don't look at me like that. There is passion, but you're confused. You don't know what to do. Do you keep fucking with this person or not? I feel like the communication may not be that good with the Ace of Swords in reverse, or some of you may not even be talking to this person right now. There could be some communication problems. Show me the Six of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all got options, but you don't fuck with none of them. Three of Cups. I'm seeing some of y'all going out. I'm seeing some friends around you or you're, you're socializing. Maybe you're on dating apps and things like that. I'm seeing a specific Leo. You're on dating apps, but you ain't finding nobody. Or maybe you're going out. Maybe you're going on dates. Maybe you're socializing. But I don't feel like you're you're feeling the fire here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. You just ain't feeling it. Clean of Swords in reverse. You've been through enough shit. You're coming off kind of stern towards people. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like you got options. But I feel like you're not seeing anybody that's worth your time. You're not feeling the fire. You're not feeling the passion with, with, with these people. You're not seeing long term with some of these people. Because you queen of coins, you, you want some big dog shit. So they got to match that energy. <laughs> Show me the queen of coins. Uh, uh. The magician. So you definitely are trying to manifest some new love here. Or doing a lot of manifesting. And the devil in reverse. And you're trying to do it. You don't want no toxic, no toxicity. You don't want nobody, no third party. You don't want nobody married. You don't want nobody with no baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. You don't want nobody with no money who got issues. You're trying to manifest something that's just not toxic, something that's not unhealthy, okay? And I see you doing it. You're powerful, you know what I mean? But you're on a high stat. You're on a high level here. So whoever it is, see justice card. You want to be treated fairly. <laughs> you ain't got time for no bullshit. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Three major iconic cards here. You're you're on some big shit right now, but you're not gonna settle. Show me the five of wands. Some of y'all got people trying to fight over you or some shit. Mm. Show me the five of wands. Three of cups. Yeah, I keep seeing you you being real social. Five of wands in reverse. You don't want no drama though. With the three of swords in reverse, it's like you healed here. There's somebody that's interested in you. Could be somebody new or you're going to have somebody new coming in that's interested in you. Some of y'all may be somebody in your friend circle. It may be somebody you meet on one of these dating apps. There's your major iconic card, the strength card. Maybe somebody you meet, are you out at some type of social event? But I feel like there's a water sign here that's interested in you. It's not this energy of this other person that you went through whatever with. A lot of y'all, this is somebody new that's coming in, possibly a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody with a lot of emotions. Okay, a lot of attraction and feelings for you um i don't either you guys see this person as a friend or i'm not sure but you pulling the strength card so i don't know if this person getting on your goddamn nerves already with the page of swords yeah they real into, into you they be watching your social media staring at your pictures asking people about you things like that either y'all think this person talk too much or something going on because while you pulling the strength card they should not be giving you no strength card yet Show me the four of cups. <laughs> Show me the four of cups. The ten of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like the options that you do have, though, you're not seeing anybody that's that's long term. The communication is not there. Nobody is e intellectually stimulating you. Yeah, the hermit here. I feel like a lot of y'all sticking to yourself right now. You got the hermit a few times. That's the solitary mode. And a lot of you still stuck on somebody from your past here. You can't move on yet here yet or you're comparing new people to somebody from your past here this other person we saw up here but i feel like you're discontent right now in your love life because you want long term with the ten of pentacles if they're not trying if they're not on your level financially intellectually you know what i mean it ain't just about that cute shit it's about you know where you see yourself in five years where you see yourself in 10 years what do you have so far what do you have going get what i'm saying you're smart and I don't feel like a lot of your options, you seeing that. Some of y'all, this person up here felt seemed a little too needy. 
and y'all don't like it. That's why y'all turned off. I see y'all saving your money. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some of y'all dating or you talking to people, but I don't feel like you're interested. Nothing serious right now. Page of Wands. It's like you're, you look real good. You attracting a lot of people for some of y'all. You know what I mean? Because you're real stable. You got shit going for yourself, but you want long term. You want commitment. You want monogamy. You want loyalty. But the Wheel of Fortune here lets me know shit about to change for you. Some of y'all got a new job coming in with the Three of Pentacles. Or you're working two or three jobs I'm getting. Or something about a new job. Or you're focused on your bread. Focused on your coins. Focused on work right now and stacking your bread. I like that. I like that. The Wheel of Fortune is a great card to get. Like I said, that's my favorite card. That's about cycles, fate. Um, that's about destiny. That's about soulmates. That's about good luck, good fortune. The wheel turning in your favor right now. Money-wise, career-wise, with love is like, eh, but that'll change too. All right, so Leo, that's what I have for you. Uh, let's go into your extended reading now. We're going to pull cards for this other person. I feel like you're either closing out a cycle or you haven't closed out a cycle with yet. This past person that you're still dealing with, we'll pull cards on them, see how they feel about you what actions are going to be taken moving forward. And then we'll also pull cards on the new person because a lot of you have somebody new coming in. If you haven't met them yet, they're on the way. And we'll see what's going on with that person, how they feel, what actions they're going to be taking. And we'll also look at advice for you from the universe. Okay, Leo, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you guys next time. All right, take care.